Okay, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to upgrade your trial membership to actual paid membership uh, once your seven day trial is over. So as you can see now, I'm in my uh, demo account for the purpose of just recording this video. So you can see that my trial has ended on the 2nd of May and it says that we're under subscription where the trial is, it's now gone red. It was green before where, where it was active. So I need to update my uh, paid membership. So if I go back to the home page, and obviously this is a demo account, so there's no, there hasn't been any trading in here, but um, as you can see here, you can see that the actual, uh, you can see the membership button there, the blue membership button. I'm going to click on the blue membership button there. And it's going to give me a list of all these uh, packages that are available. So actually these haven't been updated yet. So um, what I want to do is I just want to mention a, a little thing about these uh, packages. So these packages have been updated and um, you can actually now trade with uh, USDT, BNB, and ETH as well. But you can only trade with those packages on the uh, VIP package, the Platinum package, and for the Gold package, you, you are allowed to trade with uh, 500 USDT as well. So, looking at those packages, obviously, um, the VIP is the very best one that you can go to because you're going to have a trade limit of 3 BTC, 100 BNB, 40 ETH and 4000 USDT. So those are your trade limits. So if you add that those amounts in your account, you're going to do very, very, very well. So Platinum is also a good option. And uh, like I said, on gold, you can actually trade with 500 USDT as well. So now I've covered that, let's go back to the app. So you can see the different prices here. So bronze starting at $60 per month or $600 for the, for the year. My advice is actually to go much higher than what you feel comfortable with because um, what will happen is um, your, your account will grow and then you'll be stuck at that, that level and you won't be able to grow anymore really. Uh, so just try and go for one of the bigger packages if you can. So, and you'll also see that where it says choose plan at the bottom, the button there is all grayed out. Until you actually move and select one of the other ones, it'll then turn blue and you can go back and you can pay. So if I wanted to do a monthly, which I'm going to do just for the purpose of this video, um, I can choose that now. So, how do I pay? So one of the first things you're going to need to do is... You are going to need to head over to NPay and create an account. Now, it's very simple to do. It's um, very simple to do. If you haven't done it already, you just come over here, choose a username, full name, email, country, phone number. Um, I'm not sure about that. That's that's a new feature that I've never seen that before. Um, just leave just leave that one, and then pick a password, and then retype the password, and then sign up, and then you'll get you'll receive a confirmation email, and just click on the link in the confirmation email, and your account will be created. So my account is uh, already created for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to log into my account so this is inside the payment gateway for CM, CM robot which is MPay so I know it looks a little bit confusing but it's really really not that bad really quite simple really so what we're doing is we're sending ETH over to NPay and then we're gonna convert the ETH to US dollars and then pay via the app. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is come to the menu at the top. I'm going to click on wallet and exchange and then 
Oh yeah, there we are. So on the eighth one here, can you see where where the, the dollar sign is? So I'm going to click on that, and then it's going to come up, and it's going to give me a wallet address. You've also got the calculator there to find out how much you need. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on copy. Hopefully that's copied it. I'm not sure if it has. Uh, we'll find out because obviously I'm new to this as well. So then I'm going to go over to my Coinbase account. You can send from which wherever you choose from Binance, wherever you want. And I'm going to go and find my ETH account. I am then going to click the send hour at the top right hand corner. It's going to ask me how much, so I'm going to send all that ETH over, which is 0.772. Mine's in Great British Pounds, but obviously when I've converted it over to uh, US dollars or the NPay, it should be enough to pay for the, uh, for the, for the monthly package. So I'm going to continue. It's going to ask me for an address. So I'm just going to check that it ends in 1F3. So I'm going to go back to NPay. Just have a quick little look. It ends in 1F3. That's great. So then I'm going to go back to Coinbase. Obviously I'm doing this all on my mobile phone. You can do it on your, uh, on your computer if you like. So I'm going to put a... Uh, uh, and pay in here so I know that I know where it's going and then I'm gonna click on the send arrow at the top right hand corner again the black one this time and it's gonna ask me for confirmation so it's gonna tell me that I'm gonna obviously a fee and I'm gonna send it and I just want to double check that that address is correct again which it is because it ends in 1f3 and then I'm gonna click on confirm okay and then what you do is you click on uh, click on this and it says pending obviously once this is complete it will end up in the NP account um, this can take any way up to like I don't know uh, sometimes it's quick sometimes it's it can take up to an hour so at this moment in time I am just gonna nip over to NP and I close that down and refresh that page and you can see that my ETH balance is zero. So what I'm going to do now is pause this video until the ETH arrives. So let's, I will see you when I unpause this video. Okay so we're back. So it's been roughly about 30 minutes now and you can see that I've got notification up here, up here. so if I click on that it's going to tell me that uh, top up successful. Okay so then I'm just going to refresh this page and where it says ETH0 there should obviously change. So let's just refresh this page. And you can see my ETH balance has changed there. So now what I need to do is I need to uh, change it to um, US dollars so I can pay for the app. So here we are. I'm going to click on ETH on the exchanger. Um, okay, I'll just have to try and remember that now then. So no point seven six five zero six five zero sorry about that mm -hmm. 
you do not get these uh, things unfortunately when you're uh, recording on your phone right okay so it's telling me there that I, it's going to so I've, I've, I've selected on ETH I've put the figure in there the amount to exchange it's telling me the rate and everything and it's going to tell me what I'm going to get in return roughly so then I'm going to go exchange the green button at the bottom and then it's going to give me a little disclaimer here that it might not be as accurate as that but it's only a calculation and then I'm going to click on confirm and it's going to say it, that it's, uh, the exchange is successful I'm going to click on close and again, I'm going to go up to the top and you can see it's actually uh, successful. It's saying 157 US dollars. So, uh, if I go back to the app now and we're back over here. And if I click on choose plan, so I'm going to do the monthly platinum one just for this example. I'm going to click on choose plan says your membership order okay just bear with me because obviously this is new to me as well so okay so I'm gonna click on continue in fact um, so if someone's giving you a coupon code, uh, one of your referrals, whoever you refer, referred you, I don't give you a coupon code, you can put that coupon code in there. Uh, if you don't have one, just continue with that one. Hit continue, it's going to give you some options to pay with here. So if you're in Malaysia and places like that, you can, you can pay uh, directly from your bank. As we're doing it, we're doing it from NPay, which is selected already. I'm going to click on continue. It's going to give me a little invoice here now. So I'm going to click on pay. It's going to take me over to NPay. Give me the amount in dollars. Blah, blah, blah. blah. And then I'm going to click on the pay at the bottom. And that is successful. So now we're going to go back to the app again. Oh, actually, we are in the app. Okay. So let's click on the X there and then refresh that. I'm going to click on back. I'm going to click on 